You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Well, there's Cousin Dozen and Sam, that young rookie she invited to dinner. He's just finished helping her with the dishes. Uh-oh, Cousin Dozen's giving him a box of Does. Sam's saying, Listen, Cousin Dozen, I can't take this Does back to camp. Now, Sam, you know they make all rookies do KP. Oh, but gosh, the Army gives KPs plenty of soap for dishes. But Sam Does is different. It's a new kind of soap. Does does everything in the wash, and it has everything for dishes, too. Listen, nobody wins medals for dishwashing. Well, Does does. Makes suds that stand up to the last dishes done, cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to my hand. Well, yeah, well, but... Well, wait till some tough sergeant gives you a tub full of dishes to wash. That'll be the day. And you'll see I was right. I was does, you can wash dishes for all your buddies, and those suds will still be standing up. You don't have to keep adding soap. Say, is it does or the army you're interested in? Oh, you're just plain ungrateful. I was only thinking of you and all those greasy pans you'll have to wash. Why, does cut through grease in less than half a minute without any hard scouring. Oh, have a heart. Well, just look at my hands, Sam. Does is really kinder to them. You see how soft and smooth they are? Hmm, nice. And uh, uh, look, uh, let's leave this does here for your hands, Cousin Dozen, so they'll stay pretty like this. Hmm? Oh, Sam. Oh, you sweet boy. Well, I hate to cut in on this touching scene, but ladies, remember... Does is the only leading granulated wash day soap that gives you all this for dishes. Makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done, cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to hands. Better change to Does, D-U-Z. It has everything for dishes. And now the Goldbergs. Suspicious of her sister-in-law, and rightly so, Rosie Goldberg has been trying an old, old game in order to smash through Grace's false front. Rosie believes that Grace has some sort of attachment to a neighbor, George, and that the two of them are up to some game. Well, we know how true this suspicion is, and Rosie has been trying to play up to George to make Grace jealous. But the trouble is that George and Grace have deliberately fallen in with Rosie's plans, and the only ones who are suffering are Rosie's parents. What Grace and George want is Rosie's college money, and Rosie has been holding out on Grace because of her suspicions. Well, tonight, things are heading into a new crisis, as we can see. Listen. Uncle David. Yeah? Uncle David, are you going to bed? Yeah. Well, please, just come into my room for a minute. It's late, Rosie. Just a minute, Uncle David. Please, I want you to come in. D did Mama go to bed yet? Not yet. Well, are Papa and Grace downstairs talking? Yeah, talking. About me, huh? About everything. About the money, and, and, and about you, and, and about George, and about Grace. Uh, about the money, too, also, and why it didn't come well, yet. Well, you didn't say anything. You didn't say that I got my check. You said I shouldn't say, so, so, oh. so I didn't say. But I, Rosalind, why, why did you put me in between? I'm sitting and I'm listening, and, 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 and I have to hear Mama say that you love George and, and George loves you, and, and, and I have to hear Mama say that, that she's going to send you away from Lestonbury, and then I have to be in between. But, Uncle David, you know Aye, that... Uncle David. Ah, uh, yes, Uncle David. They, they, they are talking about the money that, that's supposed to come, and then and, and, and I'm sitting with the check in my pocket. Let me see it, Uncle David. Why, Rosalie, Rosalie, why, why didn't you put me in, in the middle, why? Uh, here, here's the check. You keep it better. Uncle David, you keep it. Please, hide it someplace. Uh, if Papa would find out that you got it already. I'm only worrying about one thing at a time, Uncle David. But what is Grace saying, huh? She's nervous. Well, what do you think she's nervous about? I don't know. Is she nervous about me and George, or is she nervous about what I said? About the money, she's nervous. I don't remember now exactly what I said, Uncle David. You're such an actress, Rosie. You, you're, you're such an actress. Well, what did I say, Uncle David? You said if you didn't promise your money to Grace, you would be independent and nobody could tell you what to do and, 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 and the money should be for you and, and, and the one you love. That, that's what you said. Poor Mama. Poor Mama and poor Papa. They really think that I'm in love with George. How can they not think? Well, 
Do you think that Grace thinks so too? I don't know. Well, does she seem jealous? Uh, only nervous, not, not jealous. You think it's the money? Surely. Rosalie, I think... Well, you said that she's nervous. Of course she's nervous, Rosalie. If her sister is waiting for the money, and you say maybe if you had the money, you would keep it for yourself, so, so, so she's nervous. She's nervous that maybe when you, give, when you get the money, you'll change your mind and, and not give it to her as which you promised. And you think that maybe I'm all wrong about everything, that, that maybe Grace and George didn't know each other before they came to last and buried. Maybe. Well... I don't know. Let's wait yet, Uncle David. But maybe tell Mama about the money, that, that you got it, that, that it's here. Not yet, Uncle David, please, not yet. Oh. Who's there? May I come in, Rosie? It's Grace. Grace? Yes. See, she's nervous. Come in, Grace. I thought you were alone. I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm only saying good night to Rosalie. Good night. Good night, Uncle David. Yeah, good girl, Rosalie. Good night. Good night. Good night. I want to talk to you about George, Rosie. I can't help myself, Grace. Just the way you couldn't help loving my brother Sammy and marrying him. That's the way I feel about George. I'm only sorry I spoke the way I did to my mother. It's all right to be in love, Rosie. But you have to be able to take things easy. I mean, you've got to know George. After all, what do you know about him? I'm sure I know as much about George as Sammy knew about you. How do you know what Sammy knew about me? I mean, he just couldn't know too much, Grace. After all, Sammy never even mentioned you in a single letter, and that means he must have just met you at the last minute and fallen in love. But George is much older than you oh, are. But age doesn't matter. Besides, he's not so much older, only a few years, and time makes that up. Grace, I think that you should be on my side in this. You, you ought to help me. Please help me, Grace. Speak to my mother for me. Speak for me and George. Oh, if I were sure you loved him and he loved you. But you have to be sure, Rosie. In these things, you have to be sure. And when you are sure, then... Anything you do is right. Oh, I can understand how you want the money for yourself and for the one you love. Beside love, my sister or even me are very unimportant. I can understand that. I know how it feels when you have that emotion in you. And when you put love next to me or my sister, after all, she did take the money that didn't belong to her. Why should you help her? Why should you help me when you, when you don't like me or trust me? I'm not stupid, Rosie. I know you really don't like me. I don't understand you, Grace. It isn't that I don't like you. I, I just don't understand you. Well, maybe you don't understand me because I don't understand myself. Right now, I'm upset and worried. I keep thinking my sister and what'll happen to her if she doesn't get the money. And she's close to me. She's closer to me than... George can be to you. Oh, how do you know how close George is to me? You can't know, Grace. Just the way I can't know how close your sister is to you. How much you're worried. You are worried a lot, aren't you? Yes. Grace, if I get the money and, and give it to you, will you help me and George? Well, I'd help you anyway, Rosie. But you'll feel freer, you mean. Here. Oh, Rosalie, what can I say to you? Rosie's sorry she spoke the way she did, Mother. Rosalie. I love him, Ma. All right. I love him, Ma. I love him, Ma. All right. So you love him. So you love him. Does love make a person cruel, thoughtless of everything and everybody? Or uh, I always thought love. Love makes you kind. Love makes you generous. How do you think Grace feels when you spoke the way you spoke? And anyway, and besides, you promised Grace your money. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to take it. Grace, dear. Grace. I'll be all right. There you go. Good night. Good night, darling. Oh, darling. Mom. Please. 
That's you, Grace? Yes, Father. You're crying? No, I'm all right. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. I just feel so bad about... about Rosalie's money. There's nothing to feel bad. <laughs> I'll probably get here too late to help my sister anyway. What do you mean? <laughs> nothing. Only if she doesn't get it in time, and the time is right away, she'll be ruined. And all the money in the world a day later won't help her. <laughs> Cake. Cake. Grace, darling, please. Please, Grace, please. What's holding up Rose's money, what? I suppose that this... This is no time to suppose. <laughs> it makes me sick every time I have to mention the money. Shut up, <laughs> darling, shut up. I'll call the insurance company in the morning. And once and for all, find out what's holding up. I will in the morning. I will. And so Grace is forcing Rosie's hand. And the truth will come out that Rosie already has it. And once Grace gets her hands on the cash, she and George will be gone. Yes, Molly Goldberg is always ready to lend a helping hand. And you know, that reminds me of a gallant gesture Unky Dozen claims he made. Unky told me... You know, I dreamed I was Sir Walter Raleigh. Yeah? Yeah, and I threw my cape over the puddle so the queen wouldn't get her feet wet. Uh-huh. And, and then I got madder than hops. Well, why, Unky? Well, there I was with my cape all muddy when I remembered, good gosh, Doz ain't been discovered yet. <laughs> Poor Sir Walter Dozen, with no Doz. But today, this new soap discovery helps millions of folks because Does does everything in the wash. Overalls, towels, to dainty rayon undies. Why, Does is the only leading granulated wash day soap that gives greater safety to the colors you wash, plus unsurpassed whiteness for towels and real cleaning power for dirty work clothes. Even in the toughest wash, Does does everything. And friends, here's a Does wartime request. Don't waste Does. All soaps contain vital war material, so always soak clothes in clear, cool water before washing. See to it every bit of does you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Rosie is trapped, and the thing seems to be all over. Apparently, Grace will get what she wants. This is Clayton Collier speaking for Procter & Gamble and saying, Do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.